All righty. It's five o'clock p.m. on Thursday, February 29th at the Middlesex Town Hall. Um, we are calling the meeting to order and welcoming guests and the explanation of this informational hearing. The select board is holding per 17 BSA statute 2680H2A, which states, quote, the hearing on a public question shall be held within the 10 days preceding the meeting at which the Australian ballot system is to be used. The legislative body shall be responsible for the administration of this hearing, including the preparation of minutes. Um, no action will be taken at this hearing. And this is regarding Article 7, um, which is, shall the town of Middlesex voters authorize the select board to purchase a new excavator in an amount not to exceed $200,000 to be financed over a period not to exceed 15 years, 24 VSA, statute 1786AC, to be voted by Australian ballot. So, is there any information that anyone here would like to share about this article, about the excavator? Okay, are there any questions about this? article from any guests we have a couple of guests online i don't know who mj is <clears throat> it's just michelle oh okay yeah. there we go <laughs> welcome michelle hi michelle Michelle's okay hi michelle sorry i didn't know who you were <laughs> you're not just michelle you're michelle okay um Fair and enough. <laughs> Uh, let's see, explanation of article by Select Board Road Former Commissioner. So you're just explaining that when it's a certain amount of money, it has to be an article. Yeah. And exactly. um, it has to be the amount of time, oh, the amount of time amount. that you're borrowing. And the amount of time that you're borrowing. Okay. So, and could someone just clarify for the record that if this article were to be approved, it would be purchased in fiscal year 25, July 1, after July 1, and not financed till the following year? Does anyone know? We would, I, I, I'm just curious. That would be ideal, but I, I don't think we can make it through it. I, uh, oh, you have to purchase it now. Our excavator now is it's, uh, on the brink of no longer. Okay. So this is for an Which excavator to be purchased yeah. before July 1, but funded or something else. We'll start a year from point of purchase. A year from point of purchase. That's okay. Correct. Well, Typically we start paying the, the you note. You pay a year from the time you do it. So we, it, it was not, so yes, yeah, so we would have to, um, if we buy it after July 1, the payment wouldn't come through until 2026. But if you buy it, it'll come through in the our budget year 25, if we buy it before July 1. Okay, which is the plan is to buy it before July 1, or at least... I would, it'd be nice if we could. Uh, okay. The, the reason we had to rent one last fall was because this one was <clears throat> not... Right, okay. So... We're not, we're not, we're just financing it and that the financing, if it's before July 1, would begin in this next year, this next fiscal yeah, year. Yeah, it's, the payment comes due one year from the date okay. that you So that would be within this fiscal year. Yeah, the next when fiscal When you year. take out okay. the loan. All righty. Any other questions? Just, Eric, if you could just, it was a long time ago, we talked about this, a relatively long time ago. Um... And I know we're not making a decision today about what excavator we're going to buy. We did have some discussion about what size, et cetera, et cetera. Um, do we still think, I mean, so I'm, so I'm just interested in knowing any update on that. And also, uh, as far as we know, we think the trade-in of our old excavator will be okay. I mean, not great, but okay. Correct. Um, depending on which route we do, the trade-in varies um, between thirty and forty thousand uh, dollars. Depending on the machine and which which brand, um, I think Vic and I've talked, and I think we've both decided that the bigger of the two would be a better option for us. 
and the longevity of it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at with that. Can you talk about that song? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, we were looking at uh, the pretty much the equivalent size to what we have now. I think okay. what I found with the, with the, renting the smaller one, it was very difficult pulling stone out of the back of a tandem dump truck. I think it would take way, it just slows the process down way too much. That's my personal feeling. And we, and we are comfortable, as comfortable as we can be, that between the trade-in and the 200000 that price is still a good price, we'd be okay? Yeah, that's actually more than, I think it's going to be more than what we need. But I wanted a buffer. Yeah. Okay. Did you have a question, Randy? Yeah, I was just. You mentioned that you were looking at a couple. Yep. Um, uh, one brands. is brands. Uh, uh, Case. Uh, uh, Cabelco. Cabelco. Yeah, it's Kamatsu. Kamatsu. yeah. or it's Kamatsu. Kamatsu. And from Anderson, anyway. That's right here. Yes. I just Case C A S E. Yeah. And Belco, like the company. It's not a Cavalco. They don't have it's oh, no, Cavalco. It's, a, uh, a Cavalco. Uh, it's just a case. Just a case. case and Where yeah. the confusion comes from, sir, is that the dealer that sells a case used to sell Cavalco, but they don't sell yeah. Cavalcos anymore because I don't know why they're so not making it. No. So yeah. just forget the Cavalco. Just yeah. Forget the Cavalco. Yeah. <clears throat> case or a Komatsu is the other other one we were considering. Case or yes. Um, just a question. Are you going to be at town meeting? Yep. Okay. And you are too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, just in case someone wants to go into details yeah. about the excavator and has questions, it will be an article. Okay. You had a question? And this excavator will be able to be transported yes. by our newly acquired yes. trailer, right? Correct. Mm. Good. Okay, Vic, you had a question or comment? No. No? Okay. I do. Oh, yes. Um, so I, I was under this understanding that this wasn't going to be purchased before July 1. And therefore, there is no money budgeted mm -hmm. for the payment in the next year's budget. Um, but doesn't this actually if it passes doesn't it gives this you permission gives us to the money? buy it but it doesn't put the money in the budget oh i thought it did no no not the payment because the budget the budget's already developed that we're asking them to uh, well but n but the sixty five thousand for the town hall isn't in the budget that gets added if it gets passed the way the special but that article is, that is part oh of, but it is a, in the budget you're right it is a part of it if it but if it doesn't it gets taken out of the budget right We're so sure don't we that. take some money out of our new capital fund to pay for this capital which is not fund. included in the budget that, i mean yeah. we've, we've talked about a couple I mean, of different talking. we've talked about a couple of different things and it was thrown on the arpa list the the capital asset inventory uh or that fund has some money um, in it, I don't know as if it's been talked about it expressly pulling from that as down payment for this or future purpose purchases, but um, yeah, I don't think we've had that level of conversation that I remember as of yet. Could I ask a question, Dorinda? <laughs> when you buy a piece of equipment like through Community Bank, for example, mm -hmm. it goes to purchase the equipment right it doesn't right. it doesn't go to like refund us for purchasing no the equipment. It, it, so we right. use that to pay for it when it comes. right because that's the collateral sort of right <laughs> yeah right. yes well, I'm just checking no uh, can, would we be allowed to uh, like we did uh, on the grader we got the grader like a month or so early and but we didn't pay on it until the well, they didn't bill us until after July 1. If we make that arrangement, is it? Let me yeah, rephrase the, that. I don't care how, I mean, let me speak. I, it does not matter as a general rule, but, you know, we didn't, but normally you would budget the payment, you know, because we'd right. have a budget 
mm -hmm. you know, a payment due mm -hmm. within the physical year 25. So um, in this case, it would be ideal if you could, um, if you could have them bill you. Right. I don't know how soon you'd take possession of it. Well, it, it, just, it, it will be a discussion. So it's a, we'll have to have a discussion. Negotiation as yeah. part of the sales. Yeah. I bet they do that. I bet they do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the other way, and again, you know, there's creative financing as far as if you, you know, maybe borrowed from here to and put right. the money back or something like that. I, again, um, I just wasn't, when we were doing this, I wasn't under the impression it was being purchased before okay. July 1. Well, I don't think we made it clear. I have, yeah. Okay. I think we talked about getting one, but I don't think we ever yeah. talked no, about an actual And this, really does, this article only allows us to purchase it. It doesn't actually put money in the budget for the first payment. Gotcha. Right. And you can, um, and it doesn't, if this gets approved, it doesn't mean you have to purchase it. Right, 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 yeah. It's gotcha. just giving you, All right. and that's why we put it into this warning so at least there would be something in place. Great job. Um, okay, so oh, ask, uh, go ahead, ask we a question. To, if we were to order that excavator next month, when would we be likely to receive it? Is it like trucks where it's no. three months later? No, it would only, it would be a short time, month or so. Okay. So we're in March. They might even have it. April. They might even have it coming in. They could. could okay. Possible. So we don't have the money. We and you would. And how much does it cost after a trade in? Well, Just an example, a theoretical now. This old. <laughs> I have no idea how much a trade in is. So probably so in the neighborhood of one. I'm just trying to think out loud here. So suppose we just agreed or plan or whatever the right word is and tell me if this passes month or Dorinda that we would take the first payment out of our capital fund it's a possibility yeah i mean i guess it's i don't know who manages the capital fund who decides you know when that was something that was assigned to the budget committee so is it it's all town money but who they were saving it for a different purpose, I think, weren't they? It's or no. It's not it's not set aside for a specific purpose, right. but it is or for a specific purchase. Sorry, not purpose. Um, it is designed to offset the purchase of right. any offset. large piece of equipment or truck. I think the thing that the select board needs to think about as we determine how we pay for it, what pot of money we pull from for down payments or anything else is what else is coming down the line and I know that we have trucks in multiple years coming up and how we yep. you know how we do that um, so I mean I we're not here to figure out well, how we and allocate money pass, for it today right? but um, it is absolutely okay. a conversation that we need to have so in hindsight, though, just thinking about this, because I, I just want to get clarity, uh, in the budget, the 65000 was put as a line item. Well, it's a, that's something you're going to be paying all in one year. So yes, it's just like... It, but it's in our budget. It, it's there. This yeah. is something completely different yeah. because you're financing it over 15 years. Yeah. So we haven't necessarily... Right. We're not going to pay the $200,000. Right, right, right. No, year. I know. Yeah. Where you know, um, so but it might be twenty five thousand or thirty thousand. Right. We did not. We did we not, did not put it in. We did right. not budget for it. Okay. Alrighty. So, are there any other questions from attendees? I think the only other question that I have, and we're not there yet, as far as like selecting a a, a place to purchase from or whatnot. But I uh, just want to make sure we think about you know serviceability and and you know um the customer service that we mm -hmm. get you know with with some of the things that have happened with oh, trucks i just yes. want to make sure that that's on top of our scoring sheet oh, for who we purchase this from Very and training so. the appropriate staff to handle also, it efficiently i would also suggest right along that line randy that if an extended warranty is available 
we can consider taking that extended warranty. The warranty, and if they come out, do they charge you to work on it, even though it's under warranty, is all a factor. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been we've been burned lately on our trucks, and it's frustrating. Uh, yeah. Well, we're not going to be. Okay. Any other questions about the Article Seven? Um, I yes. Was, I was running around doing stuff. Did you did did you guys discuss whether or not your finances before July? You're going to take this before July first or after July first? We're not deciding that at today's meeting. TBD. We're just discussing the article. It's a TBD. Yeah. TBD. All right, great. We'll, we'll see if it even passes first. Yeah. Yeah. It will. One step at a time. Okay. Um, however, I will, one more thing before we adjourn. Um, is there uh, an estimate, Dorinda, like of what the interest rate would be on this so we could? If someone asks, what would the payment be on a monthly, I mean, on a yearly basis? What well, is the interest we've rate? We've gotten very favorable interest rates up until the last couple of years. Yeah. I just, I inquired, the last one I inquired about, it was, they're looking at it 6%. 6%? Six percent. Yeah. Woo! That was. Holy moly. And that's something that probably. Most of these places have financing themselves, and it, the rates are dropping back again at the bank. So I can it always may, ask around. Well, just ask yeah. about, I mean, the bank is, we can deal with all the bank financing. You don't have to worry about that. But if these companies offer financing, and that's how we compared it to when we bought the grader. Whoever's, whoever's talking, can you either stop talking or mute yourself, please? That's, that's in the, um, that's outside, Peter. It's not on a mute. Um, okay. So, um, but yes, it was, when I inquired, I'm trying to think what I inquired about before, but she said, oh, I was talking about renewing our line of credit. And she said it definitely wouldn't renew at the rate that we've got now. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer um, may have something. They, they might have programs too. Yeah. 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 This is this is this is amortized on a monthly basis, but that's fifteen twenty times twelve. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I can inquire. So it would be the principal, you like, would divide that by fifteen years and then whatever yeah. that payment is for yeah. the 20, 20K. Yeah, 20K. Yeah. At 6%. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, are there any other questions or comments about Article 7 and the purchase of a new excavator? Oh. Yes. I'd just like to have it on the record that clearly we need this excavator. It's an important piece of equipment for the town, and it's very important for us to go ahead with that. This isn't some frivolous purchase we've carefully thought about it we certainly when we made the decision to buy our first excavator our last excavator there was some question about whether we use it we would use it or not and i think the answer is we've worn the poor thing out using it so there was, there was no question that we uh that we've used it and gotten good value out of it okay did you get that sarah he wants for the yeah. record he peter just wants for the record that um that this that we really do need this excavator and um we're hoping that the town will be supportive and I, yes you had another comment you yeah. had the you figured that uh what the payment might close yeah like around twenty thousand. Twenty thousand a year right? yeah a year yeah, yeah. so it would yeah. be twenty thousand dollars approximately okay. <laughs> at a six percent interest rate right. yes randy um just thinking about getting stuff out there in the meeting for That's those. That's 180,000, by the way. For those who might watch this recording, um, I think it'd be good for folks to know as well um, if we have an estimated cost for um, any types of repairs that are currently necessary. I know the undercarriage is worn. I can get um, one. I, I think that that's gonna be a useful piece of information um, for folks. Um, just so that they know way the, the new cost versus what it would take to repair this one to a point where we're comfortable and feel like it would be reliable enough. So if we had an idea of what an undercarriage replacement cost would be, um, and I don't know what other issues there may you may be having with it right now, but it sounds like most of it's undercarriage. The major part of it is that, I mean, there's other issues that's not as 
front line. But. Yeah. So I, th I think that if we had that information for town meeting, that'd be good information. And, and just a ballpark, you know, an, an estimate from somebody to say, you know, in this range. Okay. Sarah has a question of clarity. How much did we spend to rent? How, did, how much did we pay to rent that thing last fall? You know, off the top of the Five thousand a month. Five thousand a month? Yes. And how many months did you rent it for? I think it was only a month. A month or two. A month Maybe or two. two. I think it was a two. month, wasn't it, Eric? I think it a month, like only a month. Over a month? I think I think so. I think it was right. only a month. All right. What's that? I think it was only a month. Right. Okay. Are there any other questions about the excavator in Article Seven? <laughs> All righty. Then, if there are no other questions, we'll adjourn the meeting at five twenty-two. We'll take a break until 5.30, and just so you know, guests who are here will resume a new meeting at 5.30 for um, the vicious dog hearing. So 